If you're like me, I like avocados, and what happens is, is when I cut them up, they go bad within a day. But I'm not eating a whole avocado in one sitting. So I'm gonna show you what I do to preserve my avocados and to keep them fresh so they last actually months. Stay tuned. Hi, welcome back to Shape It Up. My name is Nicole, and today I'm talking about avocados and how you can make them last longer than a day. When I get avocados, of course, these are ripe. These are ready to cut. And I just got these actually two days ago and they were very bright green. Now they're kind of like almost a dark olive -y color. I wouldn't say black, but they're definitely, you wanna wait till they're squishy, a little squishy on the outside. So I'm gonna show you how I cut up my avocados and how I make them last. Okay, so some things that you're gonna want to have. Obviously, you are gonna wanna have an avocado. You're also gonna wanna have a cutting board, a knife, snack size baggies, and a large plastic bag. Now these I've already cut up and they have been in the freezer. So basically what I do is I have this large bag and then when this gets empty, I just refill it. So that way I'm not throwing away so many bags. I'm gonna cut up the avocado. How I cut it up is I start on one side and make a slit and I just roll it all the way around. Of course, make sure your fingers are out of the way, right? You need all those fingers. And then I just twist it. And if it's soft and ready to be eaten, it will open up. It's like butter. I mean, it's really soft and smooth. Okay, so the avocado is cut in half. And then what I do is I make slits in it. So I cut it in half that way and then long ways. And also right at the top where the, the stem is, I just kind of make a small little slit there because sometimes it gets stuck. There, and I just cut that. Now, again, if it's nice and soft and ready, ripe to be eaten, this skin will just come right off. And this one is almost perfect. So we're just gonna peel back the skin. And you see how it came out in a nice clump there? That's what I look for. Now you can mash this down if you want, but I prefer to have it like this. It's just easier. Um, we're gonna get that little piece off, okay. I also keep a paper towel nearby because they're very messy. So now that I have these in quarters, I just simply open up my little Ziploc baggie. I lay them in, I make sure they're not touching each other because when they get frozen, you want them to be able to thaw pretty quickly. So if they're all touching each other, they're not gonna thaw out. Now you can put all four in there. I tend to put three in there and then like one bag has four in it. All right, close it, seal it up. And then when I go to freeze it, I wanna freeze it so it's laying flat. That way all three pieces are separated. So now we're gonna go on to the other side. Now this is the nut of the avocado. We're just gonna make a slit on either side of the nut, making a cross. And then you can do one of two things. If it's gonna come off easy, which this one looks like it's going to, you just peel the skin off. Look at that, came right off. Now, because the nut's still in there, some people take a spoon and scoop the nut out. You can do that, but sometimes I just take it and I finish my, my cross across the um, avocado. And then the nut should, if it wants to, <laughs> come right out. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's a little messy. There it goes. So you just pop it off. And then usually the nut just comes right out. Oh, this avocado is delicious. I'm gonna save some for my lunch, actually. So again, like I said, it is kind of messy, so I'm always washing or wiping off my hands. Okay, so we got those pieces. And also, depending on the size, like if I think there's a piece that's too large, I will cut it up because, you know, you don't wanna be eating too much fat, so. So I'm gonna use two for this little bag because they're pretty big. Now you can squish them if you want, and then what I'll do is I'll actually just kind of mush them. So you can do that as well if you like. They will break apart pretty easily after you freeze them. So it's really up to you how you want to eat your avocado. So I'm actually gonna save one of these pieces because I am going to have it for lunch. All right, so that's it for the cutting. And then, like I said, I'm gonna get my Ziploc baggie. I'm gonna label it. You can put the date on if you want. That's totally up to you. Or you can put the date on individual bags. I just put them in there and just lay them flat, just like that. And we're gonna Ziploc it. And then you're gonna lay it flat in the freezer so it freezes all nice and flat. That way when you pull it out, all you have to do is kind of bang the bag on the side of the counter or 
cutting board. Here, like I'll show you. Like these I did this morning, and actually they're frozen, but they're they're apart. So, but normally you would just kind of bag them and they would come apart. Okay, so there you have it. That's my tip for saving your avocados. I have left my avocados in the freezer for probably six months or so and they still taste good. So when you do take them out, you can thaw them out naturally, meaning you can leave them in the fridge, in the baggie, and then you know give them a day and they'll thaw out. I personally put them in the microwave for about 30 seconds on like a power of five so they don't get really hot, but it's just enough to kind of mush them up and get them soft. The other thing too is you, you gotta eat them right away because they will start to brown. Um, and that's a good thing because that's telling you that it's a real food, that you know it's oxidating and it, you know it's healthy food. That is my tip for avocados for you today. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me move up in the search engines and it helps people find more Shape It Up videos and so they can get the information on fitness and nutrition just like you. So remember to get fit, be fierce, and have no limits. I will see you in the next Shape It Up video and make your day awesome. Take care.